We lost. We lost the game, and I think we lost. The, the City deserved to win. Uh, I think for 60 minutes we were very, very, or until the goal, we were very, very strong in the last 20 meters of the field, but only there, unfortunately. And there are other like uh, 80 meters left where we were not not good enough today to escape pressure, to have uh, ball possession, and not only ball possession to breathe, but also ball possession to switch off play, to to hurt them. To um, and 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 uh, to grow in confidence. This never happened in first half. Also in second half. And uh, okay, then then we conceded. Until then, we we defended very very well. Like I said, the the box and the goal was excellent. But this was the only part of the match. So the the performance was not complex enough. It was simply overall not on our very best level. And you need very best level to to push a game like this to your side. You must be very pleased with that result today and the way you dominated the contest as well. Yeah, I just yeah, just three points, but the important ones, you know, the 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 king of the Champions League because they won it and the way we played. So the team always can uh, we can think uh, play good or play bad, but always it doesn't matter where we play, we try to do it and today the guys were outstanding so in, in this stadium against this opponent and uh, did what we have done and um, make me so proud and of course the result to, to these three points. You mentioned pride. What was the most pleasing aspect of the performance? The result, obviously, but was it the fact that you had so much of the ball that you dominated? Must up particularly? come here and do our game. Hmm. So sometimes you cannot do it because the opponent is better, do it our game. So. We were courage to press high and they could not make the build up like they are a masters and they are so good and and that's why. That's why I'm, I'm pleased for the way we played. The goal, a little deflection, but you deserve that bit of luck because you had so much possession. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, how they, they away I play like a striker, I, I never, I think, can turn uh, probably because you know sometimes it's difficult to play um, back so yeah i turned good and i can shoot yes and a little bit of lucky uh, but yeah uh, i'm very happy to to score that goal and the most important i think the everyone plays played so good and we won the game we made uh, so many mistakes you know that we normally don't make in terms of passing of of touches you know uh, but you know, we tried to stay in the game, and and in a in a short corner, we we, we lost the game, which is very disappointing. Indeed, mm. and that was Pep Guardiola's 221st victory as Manchester City manager, a uh, club record, and it was probably one of his most impressive. Alan, they were seriously good. That was as good as City performances I've seen for a long time, Gary. They were superb in every department, defensively, midfield and attack and particularly at this because Chelsea went in with a three this time unlike the Champions League final three midfielders but they're pressing from the very first minute to the last minute Manchester City not in ones and twos but in fours and fives they did it superbly well there was just no way out for, uh, for Chelsea. They couldn't pass it out because of the, the energy that City had in there and how they did it. So that was the first half. The second half, it didn't change at all. Same thing again. Look, they're not giving them a moment's piece on the ball. And that five again were in there. And in the end, they probably had to kick it long. And when they did kick it long, that was no problem either for, uh, for Man City because they won the, uh, that ball as well. And Rodri, I thought, was immense and given the protection when he needed to be. So that was the pressing. Defensively, they were superb also. Diaz and Port were brilliant. He could have gone to his uh, right hand side there, but he didn't. And what a last ditch tackle that is. A superb block. This time it's Kyle Walker to, uh, to, to clear it away. That, no problem. So defensively, again, that was superb. And particularly second half, creating chances wasn't a problem for them. We've spoken about how good Chelsea are defensively. Well, he didn't look it today because of that. They get a little bit of luck and Jesus gets his, uh, gets his goal. Grealish again who I thought was excellent, caused all sorts of problems down that side. And this is a superb save from Mendy, just touches it round the, uh, the post. Grealish again, he gets whacked here. Cance Cancelo, who I thought was excellent, coming round and giving him the support. What a ball that is uh, in. That should be in the back of the net from Jesus uh, again. And this is the last five minutes. They're winning. 
They were relentless. They just didn't stop. Look at them going again. Still no way out for Chelsea. They're still trying, but they just couldn't do it. They win the ball back, and that's another opportunity there. That should be in the back of the net. And it was a, it was magnificent, Gary, I thought, from, uh, from Man City. And he was superb, as was his, uh, his defensive partner. In fact, as were them all. Yeah. And also, okay. Chelsea, the, um, the Man City, first time under Tuchel. They didn't have a uh, shot on target, Chelsea. Mm. Nice to hear that, Micah. Dangerously good. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Praise, high praise. <laughs> yeah, it was a huge win for Manchester City. And it's a big win as well for Pep Guardiola as a milestone moment. 221 wins means he's <laughs> now uh, achieved the most wins as a Manchester City manager. But it's the games in which he's managed that feat. 303 games. The next best was Les McDowell. 220 games from 592. There's, no matter what happens from here on in, he will definitely be going down as a City legend. Absolutely. And I think that the manner in which they dominated that Chelsea team, really good Chelsea team, yeah. you know, champions of Europe, I thought they were by far the better team. They took this thing out of the game, dominated the ball, mm. picked their spots, um, and I thought they looked, they looked like the best team in the country today. You were there at the bridge. Yes. How big a statement was that from Manchester City? Well, considering the last uh, three games they played, you know, Thomas Tuchel got the better of Pep, mm. and of course they, they lifted the, the the Champions League trophy. So, I thought it was a big statement that they won the game. They were favourites going into the game. Funny enough, when when you looked at everything, the way they played, the way they dominated them, the the, the way they made Chelsea look. You know, toothless. They never really had a chance today, Chelsea, considering at home. And I was disappointed with Chelsea. I was disappointed with their team selection. Mason Mount out, who's a forward player. And then they put Mateo Kovacic in. They they almost played with nine defenders. You know, the eight defenders, the goalkeeper. And then they had Werner and, and Lukaku isolated up front, trying to get back. I thought it was a disjointed performance. Um, but that shouldn't take anything away from Manchester City. They dominated play. And they made a count in the second half. And they, they should have won by more, to be very honest. Yeah, and it's exactly what they needed because you don't get bigger runs of fixtures <laughs> than, than what they've got on the horizon. Three away games. Chelsea, of course, just now. They've got PSG away and then Liverpool away at Anfield on Sunday. Yeah, but I think they're, they're favourite in every game. You know, I think they'll beat PSG quite comfortably. PSG have some great attacking players at the top of the pitch, mm. but they won't come back. Whereas City, they're so compact. I think with... Diaz and Laporte, you know, and Edison and uh, Rodri in front, they are so, so good. And I think keeping Bernardo Silva and keeping Laporte, not losing them, I know they didn't get a centre forward. Yeah. And Chelsea got a world-class one. But today, as Maka said, you know, they, they won the game and they probably should have won by more, even though they don't have a recognised number mm -hmm. nine. So Pep's system is working beautifully. What about the goal that won it then from Gabriel Jesus? What about his first touch? Oh, yeah, it was brilliant. They work it really well. They knew they were not getting a lot of joy at, at corners and they played a lot of short corners in the second half. Timo Werner here, I don't know what he's doing. Turns his back on the ball, you cannot do that. But that first touch, his ability to move it and take it off the line to get the defenders... Of course, he gets a little bit of fortune. Takes a big deflection off Jorginho, but he deserved that bit of fortune because of his footwork. It flies into him. He has one touch there. Touch, one, two... He's always moving yeah. the ball. Mm. He's never stationary so the defenders know what he's doing. He's always changing the angle of his shot and, and that was the, the pleasing thing. He put a shift in today, Gabriel Jesus. He started off right, uh, wise on the right, caused numerous problems and then when called upon, goes centrally and then pops up with the winner. I thought that was a world-class yeah. goal. I know he, people say he's not number nine. That was a number nine's goal. Yeah, it is, he is the, a number nine almost, isn't he? He is. Yeah, he is, yeah. yeah. But, I mean, but he prefers to play down the right. Well, no, he's good on the right. Yeah. He, you know, but he... But I thought that goal was... Maka makes a good point. The touch is good, yeah. but he keeps moving it, trying to get an angle. There's three bodies around him. Mm. And the fact that he's... You know, I think it's one of... I think it's such an underrated goal. You know, we're probably going to see it again here. Yeah. Mm. But the touch, amazing. And then the fact of the matter is, he's just trying to get a spot mm. and he's just trying to find a little angle. Um, so I think for, for Jesus, it's just... He doesn't... I don't think he gets enough credit. I know he doesn't score 40 goals like some of the big, big guys. But this... Is a super goal. Yeah, we'll yeah. give him a ton of confidence. Takes a deflection, but Maka, you think every, he's earned that? Watch this. Everything up to this point, Maka, before deflection is top draw. What yeah. do you think? One, two, three. Yeah, I'm the same. He can play. 
The problem with Gabriel Jesus is that he can play in a number of positions. You could never put Sergio Aguero on the right. Yeah. Aguero. Sergio Aguero on the right or on the left. Yeah. And no, he'll put a shift in and no, he'll try and take people on. Yeah. He was a number, he, he played the number nine position, the centre four position, and he was not for moving. Mm. The problem with Gabriel Jesus, he can play right, he can play left if he wants, and he can all play, he can play centrally. Mm. So then you've got so many options, but the movement today, particularly on the left hand side, I thought Cancelo was excellent and his link up play with Jack Grealish. I thought it was brilliant that they caused Chelsea umpteen problems down that side and they just could not deal with them at all. The big question going into this fixture was all about how would Pep Guardiola try and neutralise Thomas Tuchel's Chelsea, having lost to them, of course, in the last three meetings. And it was quite plain to see. You can see that he had enforced this high press, didn't he? Yeah. He was going to get them from the off. Yeah, but also Chelsea played into this... I think they took till about 40 minutes for the goalkeeper to kick the ball long. They got caught out like this time and time and time again, Chelsea. It baffled me the way they played it, particularly when they've got two on two up front. Yeah. They've got Lukaku and Werner. Werner's quicker than everybody. Lukaku's probably stronger than everybody. Yet they persisted in doing this. But the, the, the big difference with this with the Champions League final was Man City had a defensive midfield player on. And that... That was the difference. Obviously, the press is there, but they had the safety valve in Diaz and Laporte and then Rodri in front. And then you see Rodri picking up the pieces there. Listen to this. Yeah. When they decided, when they decided to, to go this. long, yeah. listen to the sound from the yeah. Chelsea fans. They were applauding it because they knew they were being hemmed back. Yeah. yeah. They didn't get out of their, their half. Well, I mean, Thomas Tuchel was, was really good in his interview. That, you know, the, the, the defensive 20% of the, they were great. But it was the rest of the pitch they couldn't get up. They couldn't, yeah. they couldn't worry uh, Manchester City. They never laid a glove on them, really. As soon as they started to go long to Lukaku and let him, let him hold the ball up, that's when they started to look dangerous. But it was, all, it was all too late. City had got a foothold in the game and they controlled it. So up until this point, we were all talking about Chelsea being this well-oiled machine. Everything was going Thomas mm. Tuchel's way. So what does result, today's result mean for them? Not much. I think they, they lost to the best team in the country. You know, that's won the league three of the last four years. They got the best in a couple of games, as Marcus said. Didn't have a shot on target. Didn't play their best. But City, when they keep the ball like that and they mm. pick their spots, you can't beat them. And I think Chelsea saw that mm. today. You'll go back to the drawing board. Thomas Tuchel, they're still a fantastic side. Yeah. Um, but I think City He's today... not changing much, is he? He's no. still going to no. play with five and two. Yeah. You yeah. Know, whether, you're, whether you're a fan of that, I'm not. Whether you're a fan of it, it's another thing. I'm a yeah. fan of the way Manchester City play and the more fluid, the, the, the fluidity they have. But Chelsea will not going to... They're not going to move from that five and that two centre midfielders.